everybody knows about Teddy Ruxpin. There are lots of teddy bears, but only one Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? I'm really happy to share the story about the development of Teddy Ruxpin. Boy, it goes back a lot of years, but I remember it like it was yesterday. We were introduced to this company that was an animatronic company. They take a teddy bear and they use a cassette player and they put it in the body of the animatronic little teddy bear. They use the left channel for sound and they use the right channel for the pulses that then control servos to open the eyes and open the upper mouth and the lower mouth. They just started, they brought us in and they said, okay, look, you are industrial designers. Could you do the body for us? All the technology in it, it's batteries, it's circuit boards, the cassette player. They had another team who was gonna do the head and then they had a third company who's basically a fill-in. So I'm a young designer, you know, I've got a child on the way and I take on this project and it all comes together where we have the body all figured out, everything's working. One of the things that I did was the cassette mechanisms that they had, you had to press stop and then you had to press it again to eject the cassette. And I said to everyone, well, that means that a three-year-old couldn't use this because it really takes a different level of age to understand press twice to get it out. So I actually then developed a cam mechanism where when you lift the door, it pressed stop and lifted the cassette out. So we bypassed the double press by using cams attached to the door. And that way, even a small kid could basically remove the cassette. I had done the industrial design process, which is that you build a lot of models. You're always doing fast fails, you're trying, you're experimenting. And the guys who are doing the head, they did everything on the drawing board. So there's no cat at that time, did everything on the drawing board. They walked in with the machined parts for the first time. None of it worked, because it was the first time that they built the prototype. The guys did the head so badly that they said, Ravi, we need you to take over the head and do the whole product with us, because if not, we're not gonna have a product. So we started in April of 85. My daughter was born April 30th of 85. And Teddy Ruxpin launched that September of the same year. Every day we work 12 hours, go home, take a shower, crash, wake up, go back in, and get at it again, seven days a week. But ultimately what we did was that we took this scary looking puppet toy that they made that demonstrated proof of concept and bury all the technology. So you didn't see technology, you just saw animation. But the goal was to make it look like a cuddly teddy bear. You just saw it come to life and tell stories to the kids. And it was phenomenal. The sales were off the chart. We created Grubby, which plugged into Teddy, and then they talked to each other, and it was just like this magical, magical experience. 